Good morning. Uh, welcome to the webinar on Scilab and Excel. So, the topic we are going to talk today is how scientists and engineers are moving beyond Excel. So, these are some of the challenges you are probably facing today at work. You are working with Excel to solve complex engineering and problems. You want to do differential equations, do some work with statistics, optimization, 2D or 3D graphics, and uh, signal processing. When you are doing these set of tasks with Excel, you are writing complex macros or C programs. Now, if you want to replace them, with single functions and also quickly process and visualize large data sets and uh, if you want to do these tasks and it gives an impression that these advanced solutions are unaffordable, at the same time you are interested in upgrading to a powerful numerical analysis solution, we have a solution. Equalus plus Scilab gives an industrial grade solution. Scilab is the world's most popular open source numerical computation platform. Equalus is the exclusive provider of industrial grade training, migration, support, premium features and consulting services. Now, customers can take advantage of our powerful open source software without any of these risks. What is Equalus advantage? The safe choice, downloaded over 3 million times, there is a global customer base developed since 2003. It's fully featured, uh, hundreds of math functions and over 200 toolboxes. Equalus provides full range of training, deployment, support, and uh, consulting services. Full-time dedicated team of developers, six new releases per year, and uh, GPL-compatible open source license, no purchasing or maintenance fee. Low cost of ownership, about 90% less than purchasing equivalent software and 50% less for maintenance fee. Equalus is a company headquartered in Silicon Valley, California, founded in March 2009. Provides the most powerful, flexible numerical analysis solution at a fraction of the cost of other solutions. It's built on industry-leading Scilab open source platform. Exclusively provides full range of Scilab support programs, training, deployment, online support, knowledge base, premium product features. And we support wide industries, aerospace, automotive, energy, high-tech, finance among them. Scilab works on various platforms such as Windows, Linux, and Mac. And uh, Equalus has an experienced team of professionals with experience from companies such as GM, Lockheed Martin, Lucent, Google, Halliburton, and uh, this lists some of the customers. The global ecosystem of Equalus consists of these companies and uh, I am presenting from Tech Passion. We are based in uh, Chennai in India. The own one-stop solution for everything relating to Scilab. If you look at product summary, of some of the key features, there are hundreds of math functions, high-level programming language, you can do 2D and 3D graphics, there are external interfaces, large number of advanced modules, example x for simulation, managed through Atom, automatic modules management for Scilab. Various applications such as signal processing, control systems, numerical optimization, test and measurement, fluid dynamics, and embedded software. Uh, ease of use and ease of integration, intuitive user interface, simple and fast mathematical matrix operation of an entire data set, rapid algorithm development and implementation, and direct import from Excel. Advanced signal processing, control systems, algorithm development, test and measurement, embedded systems, and mechatronic systems. When you look at uh, sample uh, toolboxes, in uh, numerical, there is Scilab, Cymax toolbox, symbolic computing, statistic, RAND live, and stick box. In simulation, there is Xcos and code generator. For optimization, there is optimization, WAP Pro, SMINCON, artificial neural network toolbox, PVM toolbox. For communications, there is Hart, DDE toolbox, and OPC client. 
For compiling, there is Scilab to C, and for spreadsheet, there is XLS and Link, and signal processing, signal image and video processing, and for control systems, there is computer aided control systems design, and uh, there is database module for the SQL and XLS class. Next few slides we have on the success stories of various customers around the world who have SQL as solution. French auto manufacturer Peugeot wanted to study engine noise in passenger compartments and they are using Scilab to build numerical models to validate test results from sensors and to correlate data and uh, simulation to optimize their design. Valio is a French auto component manufacturer. They are using Scilab for rapid and reliable modeling tools for thermal loading of electronics hardware and uh, they are building automation tools for rapid testing and improving the life cycle of hardware. IDT, they design and manufacture application-oriented uh, optimized mixed signal solutions for automating the testing of semiconductor for customer evaluation. They are using Scilab to analyze test data, visualize results, and analyze data characteristics. Overall, if you look at the capabilities of Scilab, there is mathematical functionality, graphics functionality, simulation capabilities, a number of toolboxes, source code is available, and broad platform coverage. Low pricing, software updates, and support. SQL is also provides voice of customer, uh, as in incorporates the voice of customer into product roadmap right from priority bug fixes, new ideas, features, OS support, toolboxes, and Xbox. Various uh, support programs of Equalus, say fast start application training, efficient deployment and uh, code migration, real-time support and online knowledge base, and special projects consulting and development. The Scilab online support portal uh, has the following features. It has a lot of documentation, video tutorials, and knowledge base, frequently asked questions and use cases. There is email, phone, chat, and desktop connect. Premier features that are available for equally subscribers only in terms of three areas, connectivity, scalability, and uh, there are advanced applications, finite element functions, advanced GUI building templates, new functions and block sets are added all the time. Look at uh, various equal as support programs. There is SOS Education, SOS Pro, SOS Pro Plus, and SOS Enterprise. SOS Education for students and professors, SOS Pro for industrial users, SOS Pro Plus for industrial users, SOS Enterprise for industry teams. It bundles of 10 users with discounts, includes training, migration, and Pro Plus. This lists the various features available under different programs and uh, based on that you can decide which program is right for you. For example, basic Scilab, there is support, there is basic help menu, support on various operating systems, there is basic help menu, and uh, you can participate in community forums. You move on to Equalist SOS Education. There are various features under the software, then online documentation, training, and technical support. Equalist SOS Pro Plus, on the other hand, is fully featured support program in right from operating system support to priority bug fixes. There is access to online documentation and training and technical support, not just email, there is cost, there is file upload for debugging, chat and phone support. And uh, since we are present as a global team, there is a support team available to you on you know, our time zones. When you go to the da dashboard on contact equalist, under various areas, there is uh, support for North and South America, Asia, France, Belgium, and Switzerland, India, Italy, and Japan. The Equalist solution there is complete numerical analysis, visualization, and simulation. It is downloaded over 3 million times, range of real time support programs, and major cost savings compared with other solutions. Say 90% less than purchasing equivalent software, and 50% less for maintenance fee. Scilab um, interface, 
the Atoms Toolbox Manager, basic functions, there are tools for graphing, optimization, ODE and DAE, regression analysis, more advanced use cases, post-processing of data set, PC analysis of Fisher's IRIS data, and other aspects of Scilab, for XCOS and GUI. The numerical computation platform, matrix-based syntax, and easy-to-use interface, a very familiar intuitive programming language, no compiling or additional interfaces to install, and a large suite of toolboxes instantly available, and a dedicated team of professional developers. Scilab console is located at the variable browser, command window, history browser, and an editor window. To install toolboxes, you use atoms, and uh, there are various toolboxes available, and this gives a list of installed toolboxes. To install a toolbox, you you get this GUI and Scilab image and video processing toolbox and you click on install you can install the toolbox. There is data import and export using simple commands. The, you can handle various data types such as XLS, text, CSV, XML, binary, math and uh, data sales up to 2.1 gigabytes of memory and you can perform various matrix based syntax to the entire data set simple and fast simulation. Creating a big, big matrix of random numbers, say in Excel, to type equal to rand in one cell and drag the corner for repeat process. You can write a macro and uh, use the function rand size of matrix and that's it. Uh, matrix multiplication to obtain say B equal to AX, select the cells to put B and use the command M multip and uh, press Control shift enter and uh, that's it. To invert a matrix, you can, uh, in Excel, you can go only up to 51 by 51 matrices and only square matrices. In Scilab, you can invert large matrices. For square matrices, in of A is the command. For non-square matrices, you use the pseudo inverse command. Let's take an example. A column vector of 100 students is exam scores. You want to obtain the mean, medium, maximum, minimum, and etc. Scilab has a huge assortment of graphic capabilities, say a large 2D and 3D plotting library, a 2D graphic special control system, signal processing graphs, MATLAB plotting emulation toolbox. Now, this is how you can plot 2D graphs, 3D, then pole zero plots and direction fields. For optimization, Scilab toolbox is supporting these capabilities, say optimization and simulation toolbox, quadratic programming, Unconstrained optimization, there is psycho by the derivative free nonlinear constrained optimization, there are Markov decision process toolbox, iterative optimization algorithms from Opskelly, a toolbox for unconstrained global optimization of polynomial functions and many others. Let's take the example of solving a LP, linear programming problem. In Excel you use solver for a small system, you have to buy added software for a large system. Scilab is built in for even large systems. Say, take an example of 50 linear equality constraints and 1,000 unknowns. You want to minimize C times project subject to AX equal to B, and uh, this gives the algorithm for doing it. To work with ordinary differential equations and differential algebraic equations, there is a differential equations toolbox. There is computer-aided control systems design toolbox. There is extensive toolbox covering many control functions and plots, and well integrated with XCAR simulation tool. The tan of dy by dt equal to minus y plus 10t cos 3t, y of 0 is 0, initial value of the derivative is dy by dt is n pi uh, for n equal to 0, n equal to 1, and n equal to 2. To solve the three sets of initial conditions, at the bottom left you see the program that shows how you solve this using Scilab. And the right, you see the evolution of the variable y as a function of time for three different sets of initial conditions. For data analysis, we have the following toolboxes. For statistics, toolbox for spreadsheet, input-output function, CSV read-write, NAM toolbox, tickbox, artificial neural network toolbox, then JSON toolbox, OPC client socket. You Given a set of data, to obtain the best fitting curve, you want to minimize the cost function given by the norm of the difference between the data and the model in the least squares sense. So model 1 is f of t equal to a sin t plus bt, and for model 2, you get this 
polynomial with a R square value that is shown here. To post process the measurement data, you want to import the data, do visualization, analysis, post processing, create models, and export post process data. Scilab provides integrated toolboxes for signal processing such as time frequency toolbox, Scilab wavelet toolbox, linear system inversion toolbox, empirical mode decomposition toolbox, infinite impulse response filter, image processing and design toolbox, image and video processing toolbox, microwave toolbox, sound wave toolbox, artificial neural network toolbox, signal processing and export, and many other toolbox. For denoising, you want to read the data set CSV file containing two columns, time and sample values, time series and sampling frequency, visualize the sample set and time domain, compute the FFT of the signal and visualize it, construct, filter and apply to the sample, visualize the denoised signal, save the denoised signal in a CSV format. So read a CSV file in Scilab, you want to plot data, Calculate Fourier transforms to denoise. Say construct a finite impulse response filter and apply it to the sample. On a low pass filter with a cutoff frequency 0.3 and Hamming window. Write a CSV file for principal component analysis. A mathematical method that orthogonally transforms the number of possibly correlated variables into a smaller number of uncorrelated variables called principal component. Uh, it's suitable for data sets in high dimensions. It has applications in pattern recognition and data compression. Fisher's Irish data file they consists of 50 samples from each of the three species of iris flowers, Hetosa, Iris virginica, and Iris versicolor. Um, the measurements are in centimeters, say sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width. Sepal length, width, petal length, various uh, values for iris that those are species that is given. Now, you want to perform principal component analysis. This gives the result. This shows the plot of variance. The command for that, how do you calculate and how do you get a bar chart? The scatter plot in 2D for the three species of the flowers. In 3D plot, in a comparison of 2D versus 3D scatter plot for principal components. Moving on to another area, that is simulation. Uh, XCOS is the main toolbox for simulation. It is similar to Simulink or LabVIEW. It allows the user to build a wide assortment of models and perform simulation of those models. It is very easy to learn and implement. It has a good integration with Scilab environment. XCOS model of a water tank, water level monitoring system. Scilab can be used to build GUI. Baseline Scilab capability is specialized for GUI building. It has an ability to interface with external GUI versus via API. The ability to interface with external programs. All major GUI elements supported. A list boxes, text box, menus, frames, pop-ups, sliders, radio buttons, you name it. Here's an example of GUI. In conclusion, um, it is easy to import or export data sets of almost any size, simple computation, you can post-process data using various functions. Scilab gives identical numerical results to other mathematical software. Scilab uses industry standard numerical libraries. There are a lot of toolboxes uh, to support data analysis. So that's the end of the presentation. I'll show some quick demonstrations with Scilab to give an overview of what Scilab looks like. How do you do computation in the console? How do you write programs, save them, and retrieve them? Also, how do you install the toolbox, and how do you use it? Those are some examples we are going to show in the live demonstration. This is version 5.3.3. This is how the console looks. So, say I want to do some simple addition. X of 3, Y equals 4, and I want to calculate this. Say you want to open a file that's to open existing files. Now say we want to create a new program. You open Scinote. You 
want to calculate the length of this array. Define a function y equal to f of x and plot it. There you go. So this gives the plot. Now we want to add a label to this. Say make some changes to the figure, say figure properties in the color. I want to change the axis, I want to increase the font size, x axis, font size, and y axis. These are some of the manipulation you can do with the graph. Copy the clipboard and make it as part of your presentation. Say, I want to add it as a slide to this. Generate plots which you can add to your presentation. Now another feature, so if you want to install a toolbox, you click on this. It will bring up a user interface which shows the modules that are already installed and uh, the modules that are available and you can install. We want to install a toolbox for CSV read, right? As simple as that. So the installation is complete now. Now, if I want to use the toolbox, and open Scilab again. So now this toolbox is available, and if I want to use some functions there, I can do that. The other feature is a help built in Scilab. It's organized according to the basic Scilab help, and then the toolboxes that are installed. So in this computer, I only install CSV read, right? So now the commands for that, how do you use them? With some example programs is shown here. So that uh, brings me to the end of my presentation.
I want to take a few questions in a few minutes during the next few minutes. Where, where do I download Scilab from? Okay. Um, the answer is you can go to equalis.com, e q u a l i s dot com, and uh, you can download from the Equalis website. How do I sign up for support? As I already mentioned, uh, let me just bring this slide again. This shows which Equalis program is right for you. So there is Equalis SOS Pro and Equalis SOS Pro Plus. There is also Enterprise Package, which go in pieces of 10 users. So let's say you sign up for Equalis SOS Pro. This gives a list of what are the support facilities that are available for you. You sign up for equal as SOS Pro Plus. What is available for you is listed here. And uh, how do you sign up for it? Uh, we can get in touch with you and uh, give a proposal and take it from there. Or you can go online and uh, buy support as well. Both options are possible. Next question is, is it Linux compatible? Yes. As I already mentioned, Scilab works on Windows, Linux, and Mac. What toolboxes are required for signal processing? Um, yeah, so there is, uh, if you are specifically talking about signal processing, there are signal processing toolboxes available on Scilab. There are toolboxes for wavelet programming. In fact, we have done uh, at least two webinars in the past specifically focused on signal processing. Um, so you can use these toolboxes for uh, taking data from your uh, test system and uh, I'm assuming you are doing some kind of endurance uh, testing and you have some data which you want to process. You can analyze that data uh, and do signal processing using the toolboxes. If there are no further questions, that brings us to the end of the presentation. Uh, thank you everyone for participating in the webinar. Uh, please feel free to send us an email uh, if you have any questions and uh, we'll get back to you with the solution. Thank you again. Have a good day.